What are you trying to do, kill me? Just signing one of my love letters, Gordy. P.S. That one came close. Hey, you. Take this up the tunnel. Well, go on. Go on, Chirac. Put yourself in for a medal, Sergeant. How would you like to die when the end is just within reach? Well, answer me. I wouldn't. I'll bet you wouldn't. What were you when they hit? Handing out rations. Rations? From now on, Lieutenant, my officers will remain in the trench where they belong. And they'll leave the handling of groceries to their subordinates, understand? Captain, my platoon... Your is platoon honest. is a joke! The chinks have chewed you up. They don't even bother to wait till it gets dark anymore. They know you're a bunch of idiots. Where did they enter the trench? I don't know. Neither does anyone else. They were suddenly there. That I'm sure you're sure of. Who did all the shooting on our side? Chirac, mainly. Brother, it's always Chirac. And I can't really afford to send him home. It would mean the death of us all. 
Where was Sergeant Swedish? When the attack started, he was in the bunker next to my machine gun position. Well, did he assume command? Or did he relinquish that responsibility to Chirac again? I didn't ask. I really don't have to. Ceasefire comes to Korea in two days, Lieutenant. But I don't care whether this nonsense that's been called everything but a war stops two years from now. Tonight I want an ambush patrol set up. Right here in this drop below your platoon command post. Why there? Because that's the route they've been using. What's that kid's name with the field phone? Heat. Yeah, heat. Heat was dropped from close range. From the looks of them, right at our draw. The attack went to downhill, Lieutenant. Your blown bunkers and fallen heroes will attest to that. All right. I'll lead the patrol myself. I wouldn't think of assigning anyone else, Lieutenant. And Chirac will be your assistant. I don't want Chirac. He's a short timer and they aren't picked for patrols. You know the policy of my platoon. I make the policies here. A kid should have rotated a month ago. Maybe you know why he's still online. I don't, but if you think I'm going to get him. You'll cross the line of departure as soon as it gets dark and Chirac will be right alongside you. Now put that steel pot on your head and get out of here. Transferred out of Germany, worked a direct assignment to little old you. Oh boy, oh boy, am I glad to see you. All right. You look great. Right, you look great. Stop it now. Well, will you stop crying? You're going to shrink. I'll be darned. Heck, you missed it all. Ceasefire's tomorrow night. Hey, listen, switching theaters operations a rough one. You know that? Well, what you got, a platoon? Yeah, what's left of one? We can use you. Well, that's good. Come on, meet my platoon leader. All right. Thank you, buddy. Lieutenant Pierre, meet Corporal Pumphrey. It's a real pleasure, Lieutenant. Same here, Pumphrey. Coffee? Sounds great. You can hear him forget. I remember now. Well, let's have you come. Yeah, me and the sergeant here seen some rough action together, Lieutenant. You know, I seen him earn a chest full of medals. Sergeant Swedish, the character who'd never sweat. Of course, that was the big one. Believe me, Pump. It wasn't any bigger. Yeah. Care for a coffee royal, sir? Well, that little old bottle must have cost you half a paycheck. What? No, sir. The whole thing. Yeah, buddy. Where do you toss out my jacket, will you? The tools, too. Hey, you guys want some tools down there? You got the crowbar? Are you nuts? Yeah. Hey, Chirac, grab Lieutenant Pair. We can't hit the sack till he checks us out. Out of my way, man! The women of the United States await me! Hey, where you going? Home! All you guys hear that? Home! When did the orders come down? This morning. Just you, Bobo? Three of us. Villella, Grant, and Brown. They went off on the other side. Listen, I'll see you guys. The Jeep's waiting. Good luck. Yeah. See you, Waddy! Hey, write me a letter. I will. No, you won't. Goodbye, Frank. I'll see you that five bucks. You're a bunch of... I promise. I promise. Don't do it, Chirac. Chirac, don't do it. You'll be the next one, the very next one. <laughs> What's this battalion done to earn such a bad reputation? 
Who have you been listening to? Well, everybody. All the way from Pusan. A few mistakes will do it to you. This company is considered the worst in the battalion. So what else is new? Well, Humphrey's here. <laughs> All right, come on. Where does the CO feed his vultures? Right up the hill. You think Captain Tumble will be surprised to see me? What do you think? You know the captain? Yeah, we know each other pretty well, Lieutenant. Hey, Lieutenant! Lieutenant Pierre! Chirac, sir. He's going to get in trouble. He's flipped. Take it easy now. About what? We got a rotation, four men on it, and all out of the second platoon. Chirac wasn't on it. He went to see the captain, sir. I know he did, and you know Chirac. I want to walk off this stinking hill, and I want to walk off it today. Get your hands off my desk. Captain, I've got a discharge coming up. You've got a patrol coming up tonight. Like hell I do. I could throw you ten years for that. Well, that may be one way of getting off this hill. Look, Captain, they gave you eye company because it's a dud. Somebody upstairs thinks that you can shape it up. But you're not going to do it on my back. You're forcing me against the wall, Chirac. Please, Captain. Just send me home. I've earned it. I've got 44 points. That's more than I need to rotate. Personnel goof, not me. Then call him up. Find out why. Who are you ordering around? I'm your commanding officer. Captain, don't you ever touch me again. Come back here, Chirac. Come back here, Chirac. Come back here, you hear me? Chirac! Chirac! Bring him back here, Pierre, fast. Uh, something wrong? Yeah, I got headaches. Bad headaches. Are you out of dog company? I company. Okay, hop in. Thanks. Let's go back, Wesley. Go back? Yeah, I want to check him out of his company first. We gonna miss hot chow, Sergeant. Come on, come on. Hold it. I told you I get bad headaches. Now, give me the battalion aid. You know what you're doing. I know. It won't work, Carol. Doc will take one look at you and fire you back to the trenches with a cannon. Get gone! Go on! Got an actor for you, Doc. Get in there. This guy ought to be shot, Captain. He forced us here at gunpoint. That's right. I could have dropped dead for all you cared. Well, lay down, man. He flagged us down, sir. Said he was sick. He gets bad headaches. He tells me he got sent down from the hill. High company. Well, I happen to know they wouldn't part with a mouse unless he was dead. 
I tell him to jump in anyhow. But when he hears I'm going to clear him with his company, he sticks a gun in my face and orders us here. What's the matter, soldier? Scared? No, I ain't scared. Sure you are. You need no reason to be. Your time don't die in combat. Too many deep holes to stick your heads in. Take it easy, Captain. He ain't worth it. Stop. Easy. Stop. Come on, stop. Easy now. Easy. Easy. That's it. That's it. What's your name, soldier? Chirac. You're going back to Sniper Ridge, Chirac. And you're walking all the way. I don't want to see you again unless your guts are hanging out. You just pray I won't be too tired to stuff him back in. Give him his rifle. Give him his rifle! I, I said give him his rifle. All right, I'll go back. But I ain't scared. You hear me? I ain't scared. Betty's. Whoops. Now, you should have told me that before we even said hello. Yeah, I should have. It's pretty dumb. But the outfit we relieved didn't leave us a mine plot. We know they're out there, so just stick to the trails, huh? Come on, I want to show you something. making any patrols while you're here, but just in case, I want you to memorize the shape of Joe Chink's hill. Every hill around here. If you get lost at night, at least you'll know which direction is home. Oh, what are you worried about? I got a compass. You might lose it. Do like I tell you. Okay. You know, I can't even see that trench line. It's there. So, did you pick up any more medals? Swedish. Uh, I asked if you picked up any more medals. Not this time, Pump. I want to make it back. Well, didn't you before? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Look, Pump, don't ask about this, because I don't know. But in between the wars, there, everything sort of straightened itself out. I learned you didn't have to slop through mud any longer than the guy beside you did to reach his level. Or you didn't have to take on a German platoon or a tank to learn to have some respect for yourself. Before, being out front and doing it better than anyone else was a big thing with me. I was young. I, I needed it. Needed? That's right. I thought the war was great, Pump. I really did. And deep down, I knew it couldn't hurt me. And it didn't. Till now. I don't follow you. Anyway, uh, after I got to liking myself, I got to liking life. No kidding, I fell in love with them both. So you know what I did this morning when the chinks hit? I ran. You believe that? I ran. Hit my face between a couple of sandbags. I don't believe it, Swedish. Well, it's true. And if it weren't for that kid Chirac I've been bragging to you about, 
You'd have just missed seeing me. Is that the first time it happened? Ever since I've been here. Do the men know? I'd say they do. Chirac, for certain, he hates my guts. Well, it happens. Yeah. Sure wish I never told him combat stories in the boat over. That's all right, old buddy. They were true. Yeah. Let me light that thing. They are twisted in half. Thanks. I had to tell somebody, you know what I mean? Sure you did. And I'm glad it was old Punk here. Now, come on. Forget it. Tomorrow's ceasefire. It'll all be over. That's the awful part, Punk. I'll probably never get a chance at another war. I'll never know for sure if this hiding in holes is a sometimes thing or not. It's not a heck of a thing for us. Pro soldier to lug around with him. Look, like I said, it happens. That's no answer. That's all I can give you. Sergeant Swatties. Captain wants to see Corporal Pumphrey. I'll be right there. You see Lieutenant Pear? He's out looking for Shrek. Relieve Owens on the gun. Where he gets around. Yeah, it sure does. Well, I wanted to wait until he digested Chirac before I went up there, but I guess he figures I'll make a better meal, huh? See you later. Maybe. Corporal Pumphrey reporting as directed, sir. Rest. You lost a few, Pumphrey. Yeah, I did. What happened? Always running into officers who don't like me. You request an assignment with this company? That's right, sir. Why? I got a buddy in the first platoon. Sergeant Swedish. Step aside, Pumphrey. Get up there, Chirac. What's the matter, hero? Afraid you won't make the ceasefire alive? You must have been pretty desperate to pull a stunt like that. Tell me, Chirac, what do you think I ought to do to you? Send me home. Back to your beloved street corner, huh? Sorry. Even the man upstairs would have a hard time swinging that one. I thought the captain was more powerful, sir. Here it is, Chirac. You have two choices. You can wrestle with a general court-martial, in which case you can kiss the world goodbye, or you can start digging latrines up and down the hillside. This hill or any hill we happen to be on until your orders come through to ship out. Now, which is it? I'll take the shovel, sir. Naturally. Would the captain like me to dig one near here so he won't have to walk so far? We'll see how pert you can be when you're fighting to stay awake on patrol tonight. Put him to work, Lieutenant. You and that smart aleck ought to hit it off just fine. Whatever you say, sir. Will that be all? Not quite. I think you ought to know my reasons for knocking your soldier's medal back at Fort Brenner and then transferring you out of my company. 
All that was pretty common knowledge. The cadre believed what they wanted to believe. I reacted out of a firm conviction that men do brave things for two reasons. One, all of a sudden a man is caught in a predicament where he has no choice but to act. Or two, a man has to... Oh, wait a minute, Captain. Those were your kids I hauled out of that fire. But I agree with you. There was a choice. Only well, you chose to set the fire out on a sidewalk. It seemed hopeless. Even the firemen stopped trying. Well, sure they did. Another thing. For all your string pulling, you didn't stop me from grabbing a medal from the army. I turned it down flatter than hell. Don't hand me that. You know why? Because I believe like you. A man shouldn't get a medal for doing his job. And carrying two screaming kids out of a burning house, that's anybody's job. As far as your wife divorcing you afterwards, you brought it on yourself when you arranged a transfer for me. She didn't know anything about the transfer. Well, she didn't, huh? Who do you think drove me in the duffel bag to the bus station? Relax, Captain. She just had to tell me how ashamed she was. The medal. My being railroaded, the whole thing! Did she tell you at that time she'd planned to divorce me? Yeah. Sir! Yeah, sir. She planned a divorce you. All right, Pumphrey. We've been reunited. Amicably, as far as I'm concerned. But don't expect any special favors. You'll be with Lieutenant Pierce patrolling and moves out at 2200. Have it done before dark? There's a spot about 30 yards over there for you in a hurry. My name's Pumphrey. Oh, yeah. You're sweatish as old buddy from the big bad war, huh? That's right. You better shake that hand before I knock your head off with it. Welcome aboard. So you're the brave one, huh? Where did you get that idea? I heard your story. That's some reception you got. That was you up there when I was on the carpet, huh? Uh-huh. You gonna kill him? Who? Who do you think? Why don't you kill him yourself? Let's do it together. Rack, I'm gonna tell you something. You're sick. Yeah. Humphrey! Chirac! We're having a briefing! Let's go!
deploy your men below us. We'll squat here. Sergeant Sweater, sir. How do you read me? Loud and clear. Good. Stay glued to the phone. I'll signal you every 15 minutes. Right, sir. Out. that thing? You know I do. Are you getting candy? I gave the last one to one of them new guys. Who is that? One of them new guys. Tonight, sir. Doesn't look like it. Yes, sir. It'll be light soon. We're coming in. Yes, sir. Saddle up. Yes, sir. Saddle up! Settle up. It's about time. All right, you guys, lift it.
Looks like your ambush patrol got ambushed. Wiped out again, huh, Pierre? Are you enjoying this, Captain? You stink, Lieutenant. As a soldier, you're strictly inferior. Why didn't you assume the initiative when you first detected them? I wasn't that sure, not at first. You wouldn't have lost a thing if you'd been wrong. What was your sniper scope doing? We didn't have one. You, you... Well, why not? It was included at the briefing. There wasn't a battery case in the company ready to go when we moved out. Look at me, Pierre. I said look at me! The ceasefire is at 10 tonight. That gives us approximately two hours of darkness before we wrap her up. Would you say that's enough time to cross 800 yards of no man's land and hit the chinks on their own property for once? Oh, you can't do that. I can't, huh? Well, even if there was time, the vision had never okay an attack so close to the deadline, it'd create a world crisis. I'm Commander Air, And the strategy I employ, if it's dead wrong, then tough! I'm ordering a raid, and I'll lead it. Now, you have 16 good men here at 1300 for my briefing. What are you trying to be? A hero two hours before the ceasefire? Forget it! The stuff they put in heroes was left out of you. You are what you are. None of it's redeemable. I'm sorry. But I'll be damned if I'm going to stand by and see a bunch of good men die trying to be a hero for you. Good men are frustrating, aren't they, Captain? They never let up. They're constantly throwing back your rotten reflection. They mirror all your weaknesses, all that you aren't, everything that you'd like to be. <laughs> expect you to rescind that order for tonight's operation. family, sir. Oh, Swedish. Yes. Flip a box. Thank you. Sorry I was late getting here. I was out scrounging. Didn't know you wanted to see me until I got back. That's all right. Anything you want to tell me, Sergeant? Behavior online? My behavior. It's no secret, Sergeant. I guess it isn't. Well, it wasn't always like that, Captain. You know, uh, you read my record. Why, I used to. Uh... Well, there's a. He's nuts! He 
thinks I'm going on another raid tonight, he's crazy. That's what I said. To who? To myself. Cheer up, Chirac. You got a letter. It's from Florence. Well, come on, open it, open it. Hey, how about that? Why didn't you tell me this broad was ugly? Ugly? She's a beast. Boy, you're some guy. Yeah. And we all know how bad you men got it. We all know how bad you men got it. She ought to know what I got. I want you to do me a favor, Wardy. I want you to write this broad a letter. Tell her I got killed. What? You heard me. I gave you her name and address as a favor, Chirac. Because you think she's not good looking, there's no reason to ask me to write something like that. Forget it. She'll live. Wardy, don't make me out a louse. I wrote this broad a letter. Why? Because I was lonely. Well, anybody that looks like that's even lonelier. Where you going? I don't think I care to know you anymore, Chirac. Don't you go, Suave. I knew you understand. I was being kind. You know what that word is, kind? Kind? That's right. Look, Wardy, lonely people are sensitive people. You know what I mean? So if I don't answer that letter, she'll know I didn't like that picture. Just didn't want to hurt her, that's all. You really believe that? I believe it. Take it easy, they're way over. Wardy, come out of there. You better join me. They can't touch us. Well, that was a big one. Hey. Hey. That last round didn't go off. It's right down there at the bottom of the hill behind those bushes. You sure? I'm sure. Hey. Go tell the man. It'll shake him up. Did you really see it hit there? What did I say? Go on. Tell him. <laughs> How about that? Be right back. Don't let anyone go near there. The CP! The CP! Uh, this is Private Ward, sir. I, I thought we'd better tell you. An enemy round came in and didn't go off. Now, give me that again slowly. An enemy round, sir. An enemy round landed behind the first platoon area on the reverse slope. I, it didn't explode. Chirac saw where it hit. Our draw. Uh, no, sir. About 50 yards down from where he's digging that latrine. All right. I'll get some disposal people there. But in the meantime, hop down there and mark the exact location where the shell hit with a handkerchief or something. Got that? Ward? Hello, Private Ward. Wardy? Uh, hi, Sarge. The phone's out of order. What's the matter with it? I don't know. I was talking to the CEO, telling him an artillery round came in, and it just went dead. Artillery round where? Uh, down the hill a ways. Show me. Excuse me. down over there. You sure it was artillery round? Yeah, they harassed us with four of them. That was the last one. The rest ripped up the valley. You saw it, Chirac? Yeah, it's like he says. What do you think we ought to do about it, Sergeant? Uh-oh. Here he comes. Well, what do you know? He finally came out of his hole. On your feet, Chirac.
You had trouble on the phone ward. Evidently, you didn't get my order to mark the spot where that shell hit. Where is it? Over there behind that bush. Climb down there, Ward, and tie this on a branch. No sense in that, sir. We got it located. Get going, Ward. Bouncing Betty's are plastered all over that hill. And that round's liable to go any minute. I won't tell you again, Ward. I won't do it, sir. Did I hear you right? I'm pretty sure you did, sir. Put down that shovel! Humphrey? Uh-uh. How about you, Swedish? No, sir. Soldiers, huh? Captain, wait! Change your mind, Sergeant? No, sir. I want to change yours. When I come back, you men are facing a court-martial. goes. What's the matter with you guys? Just screw yourself. All right, don't panic. She won't blow unless he steps off it. Leave him there a while. Maybe he'll think things over. Do something! Somebody do something! And besides, there's nothing we can do. I know what we can do. But I ain't gonna do it. Chirac, we gotta do something. Chirac! All right. But you gotta go with me, Mr. Metal Collector. Help me! I'm with you. Hey, wait a minute. You ain't going down there. Yeah. I gotta. Give me a flak jacket. Give me a web belt. Strip and clean. We got mine. You'll be surprised, Sergeant. Wardy, go get the medics and litters. Jeffrey, yeah. get Lieutenant Pierre. Tell Jane. him sorry over here on the double. Three more flak jackets. Hurry. Strip your web belt. Your arm down, push to your side. What are you gonna do? Help you. We're gonna make a dummy out of you, Captain. As soon as we're finished, you can just dive off this little thing right on your little stomach. Now, it may not get hit at all, but if you do, it may not be serious. You know what I mean? What's 
your rack and sweat is doing down there? Acting like a couple of idiots. He's all set below. You hear that, Captain? You're all set below. Get out of here, Swedish. Aren't you coming? I'll be right behind you. Hope it works, Captain. Now, look, I'll be right over there behind that rock. When I say dive off this thing, you dive off, you hear? Good luck. Is it real bad? Not good. But he'll make it. I hope. <laughs> hey, Chirac. You nutty guy. <sighs> we saw it all, kid. Got to change your mind about you. Yeah. People always do that. several days ago. It's a nice one, you know what I mean? Will you mail it for me? Good is done. <sighs> this is my ticket, buddy. I'm finally getting off this stinking hill. I'm going home. See you, pal. Thanks for taking care of me. Yeah. Let's get him out of here, Barthy. That's Radish. Ceasefire is now in effect. I suppose that raid would have been a foolish move. Staying in the service pier? I have other plans. You know, I'm thinking about putting Swedish and Chirac in for a DSC. I'm sure they'll appreciate that, Captain. Can 
my men destroy positions now? Yes, go ahead. Take her down. All right, first platoon! Turn down! Hi, Tano. Hi. Any of those for me? No. Nope. Hold on, got something to go. How about sealing this, huh? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. Be right with you. What'd you do that for? I don't know. I think Chirac sort of liked it.